The Wibble procedure is very complicated, and many wonder how it is done. An upper midline incision is made, and the abdomen is examined for distant disease. The hepatic flexure of the colon is mobilized inferiorly. The duodenum is cocorized to the supermesteric vein. A cholecystectomy is done. The common bile duct is divided after checking for an aberrant right hepatic artery. The duodenum is divided. The gastroduodenal artery is ligated. A tunnel is made anterior to the SMV portal vein, and the pancreas neck is divided. The jejunum is divided just distal to the ligament of trites. The proximal jejunum mesentery is divided. A segment of distal duodenum proximal jejunum is passed behind the superior mesenteric vessels to the right side of the abdomen. Tributaries to the SMV portal vein are ligated. The uncinate of the pancreas is dissected off flush with the SMA. The jejunum is passed through a rent in the proximal transverse mesocolon. An end-to-side pancreaticojejunostomy is done, followed by an end-to-side hepaticojejunostomy. Then, an end-to-side duodenojejunostomy is completed. The defects associated with the jejunum and transverse mesocolon, as well as the lignotrites fourth portion of the duodenum, are closed. Two drains are placed. On the right, a flat channel drain posterior to the HJ and PJ. The left drain is passed lateral through the gastrocolic ligament and laid anterior to the PJ and posterior to the DJ. The abdomen is closed. Thank <laughs> you.